Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to look at how we can add in a little bit of security configuration to restrict access to only authorized users for our easy admin bundle, admin backend. I'm going to go a little bit quicker through this video as I've already covered everything in this procedure already in another video which I've linked to in the show notes. So we're going to start off by jumping into our project under app config security.yaml. We're going to remove the tilde from the in-memory providers configuration. And we're gonna add in a new key called users, making sure that it's plural. And then we're gonna give the name of our new user. In this case, my username is gonna be admin. And I'm gonna put in here password and then three dots, which is to indicate that we don't yet have a password. But once we do, that's the position in which the password will go. Now, if you wanted to add in some other users, then you can do just add in some other user and so on. And just keep repeating that until you've filled in all the users that you need. Now, if you want to load your users from the database, that's slightly more advanced, but it's really outside the scope of what we're trying to achieve here. That said, we have covered that on the site before. So again, please check the show notes. So before we can actually go ahead and generate a password, what we need to do is tell Symfony which encoding algorithm we're going to use. And the way in which we do this is by defining a new key called encoders. And then we need to tell it for what class of user will this algorithm apply. Now, because we're using an in-memory user, our user is going to be an instance of Symfony, component, security, core, user, user. Now, don't feel like you need to memorize that. This is pretty much just copy and paste from the documentation at this point. If you're using something like Foz User Bundle, then typically that path will be something that lives inside your own app bundle entity directory or similar. Again, there's plenty on the site that covers how to do that. So we now need to tell it which algorithm we're gonna use. And in this case, we're gonna use Bcrypt. Now I don't profess to understand exactly how Bcrypt works underneath the hood, but this is the algorithm that's recommended by the Symphony docs. So that's what we're going with. And with that configuration in place, what we can do now is use Symphony's command line tools to help us generate an encoded password. So the command we need is php bin console security colon encode hyphen password. This is completely unrelated to our admin user at this point. We just need to provide a password. I'm gonna provide the password of admin and you can see it's used bcrypt to generate us an encoded password. So what I can do is take a copy of this and just paste it in where I had the three dots before. So simply by doing this, we haven't yet secured our admin backend. If we refresh now, we can still get in without having to log in. You can see we're currently set as the anonymous user. So we need to do a little bit more to get this to work. So our first step is going to be adding in a little extra config under our main firewall. So I'm gonna set a pattern here of anything starting with a slash. In other words, our main firewall is gonna cover every route in our application. We're going to define a provider key and tell it to use our in-memory user provider, which we've just configured up here. We're gonna define a form login section because we will be logging in using a login form and we'll have the login path of login and the check path also can be set to login. We'll come back to this in a moment. Lastly, I just want to define one extra key, which is to allow a user to log out. Now again, I've covered all of this configuration and more in greater depth in a different video. So please read the show notes for a link to that video if you are at all curious. Otherwise, it's pretty much just copy and paste. Again though, even with this configuration in place, if we refresh, this still hasn't taken effect as such. All we're doing now is we're saying that our main firewall should affect every route, but we haven't told Symphony which routes we want to secure. So what we need is a new key called access underscore control. Let's put an extra space in there just for white spacing reasons. There's no reason to do that otherwise. And then we need to define some access control entries. So I'm gonna say if the path starts with slash admin, then to access this route, you're going to need the role of role underscore admin. Now we don't have that role as of yet, and to actually get that role is really straightforward, but I'm gonna leave it off just to begin with, just to show you what happens if you don't have it. So we'll define two more of these access control entries. We'll have one for slash login because it's best to be explicit about this. In fact, I'll take off the trailing slash there and just make sure that the match here is exact for just slash login. Anything that comes after there would be ignored. And we'll say for this slash login route, you'd need the role of is authenticated anonymously, which is pretty tricky to spell, but all it means is basically you're not actually logged in. And again, it's best to define a sort of a catch-all route, which is just to say that anything that we haven't secured, you can get access to without any specific role. Okay, with that in place, if we refresh now, 
we are directed to our login screen. Now I've cheated a little bit here and I'll show you what I've done. So inside our application, I've gone ahead into the resources directory. I've defined a new template called loginhtml.twig and all of this is in the show notes. So again, it's pretty much just copy and paste. This is a standard HTML form. Our action points to the path of login. We'll have a look at that in a sec. The critical piece are the names of the two inputs. So we have our username input here and it has to have the name of underscore username and it has to have the name of underscore password and Symfony will look for these field names on form submission to get the appropriate data. Now we can change those values and again that's covered in the linked to video but we're just going with the defaults here and likewise I've had to create a new controller which is really quite straightforward. It's just under our controller directory I've called it the security controller and I've defined in here two routes, slash login. So that's when we hit that, we're going to see our rendered login form. You can go in here and style it up and make it look nicer and whatnot. But it's named login, as you can see here, which is how we can refer to it here as the path of login. And then we also need the logout route as well to enable us to log out, obviously. But the really sort of weird thing is that if you try and access this directly, it should in theory throw, but you should never get to that anyway because any call to slash logout, Symphony is going to intercept before you ever get to this point and handle the logout for us. So with those two pieces in place, we should now be able to log in as admin with a password of admin. And we do, and we log in, and yet we're still getting that access denied, which is a little bit funky. But the reason for that is because we've not got the right security role. So if we go to the security.yaml file and under here, we define a new key called roles and we set one role. You can have a list of roles, but we set one role here, which is the role of admin. And it would also make sense to define a role hierarchy at this point. So we'll define a role hierarchy. And honestly, I kind of recommend copy and pasting some of this stuff anyway, because it's so hard to spell. But anyway, we're going to say our role admin is going to get all the same privileges as a role user. Now, a role user is the default role given to any logged in user. So essentially, our admin is going to get some additional privileges to the standard user in, in effect. So now let's try and access this. You can see we can access it just fine and we're logged in as our admin user. We can sign out and when we do, that all works as expected. And now again, we hit back to the admin route and we get directed to our login and so on. So as I say, I appreciate it went quite fast through this tutorial, but as I say, we've covered all this stuff before in greater depth already. The really critical part is just making sure that the name attributes for your inputs is correct. Otherwise, you'll just keep going through this loop where you're sending known good details, but it just sends you straight back to the login screen because Symphony doesn't think that you've submitted anything anyway. But this pretty much brings us to an end of phase one of our development for our wallpaper website. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the series useful and I hope to see you soon for when we start with phase two.